Calvin Murphy, a name that once echoed through the basketball courts, carried with it a tale of tragedy and triumph. On the surface, Murphy's life seemed like a fairy tale, a talented young man rising from humble beginnings to become a renowned NBA player. However, beneath the surface, hidden from the glitz and glamour of the spotlight, lay the heartbreaking events that would forever shape his life. In the face of adversity, Murphy stood tall, fighting to defend his innocence against the tumultuous storm. The trial became a crucible of emotions, with the weight of public scrutiny bearing down upon him. Throughout it all, Murphy remained steadfast, unwavering in his determination to reclaim his name and protect his legacy. This is the story of Calvin Murphy, a tale of triumph and tragedy, of perseverance and redemption. It is a journey that explores the depths of the human spirit and the power of resilience. Through the highs and lows, Murphy's legacy continues to inspire and remind us that even in the darkest of times, the light of hope can still shine through. Calvin Murphy was born on May 9, 1948, in Norwalk, Connecticut. He grew up in a modest household and faced several challenges early in his life. Murphy's parents divorced when he was young, and he was raised primarily by his mother, Mary Murphy. From a young age, Murphy exhibited a natural talent and love for basketball. He spent countless hours honing his skills, dribbling and shooting on the playgrounds of Norwalk. Despite his small stature, Murphy's incredible speed and agility allowed him to excel on the court. At Niagara University, Murphy made an immediate impact on the basketball program. He became a key player for the Niagara Purple Eagles and quickly established himself as one of the most prolific scorers in college basketball. Murphy's scoring prowess reached its peak during his senior year when he led the nation in scoring, averaging an incredible 33.1 points per game. His remarkable performances earned him All-American honors and left an indelible mark on the college basketball landscape. Murphy made an immediate impact in his rookie season with the San Diego Rockets. He averaged 15.8 points per game, showcasing his scoring ability and establishing himself as a key player for the team. Over the next few seasons, Murphy continued to elevate his game, consistently ranking among the top scorers in the league. In the 1977-1978 season, Murphy played a pivotal role in leading the Rockets to their first-ever NBA Finals appearance. He averaged a career-high 25.6 points per game during the regular season and elevated his performance in the playoffs, averaging 26.8 points per game. Although the Rockets ultimately fell short in the finals, Murphy's contributions and leadership on the court solidified his status as one of the league's premier guards. Throughout his career, Murphy consistently showcased his scoring prowess. He possessed a deadly outside shot, exceptional ball handling skills, and a knack for getting to the rim. Murphy was known for his acrobatic layups and creative scoring ability, often finding ways to score against much taller opponents. He averaged over 20 points per game in five different seasons, demonstrating his consistency and offensive prowess. Murphy has been married twice. His first marriage ended in divorce, and he has five children from that relationship. He has also been open about his experience as a survivor of sexual abuse during his childhood. In 2004, Murphy was acquitted of charges related to the abuse allegations. Following his retirement from professional basketball, Murphy remained involved in the Houston community and dedicated himself to various philanthropic endeavors. He has been actively engaged in charitable work, particularly focusing on supporting organizations and initiatives that aim to improve the lives of children. Murphy has used his platform and personal experiences to advocate for the prevention of child abuse and to provide support for survivors. In addition to his charitable work, Murphy has maintained a presence in the basketball world. He has worked as a color commentator and analyst for the Houston Rockets, providing insights and commentary during the team's broadcasts. His deep knowledge of the game and charismatic personality have made him a beloved figure among Rockets fans. As mentioned earlier, one of the tragedies in Calvin Murphy's life was his experience as a survivor of sexual abuse during his childhood. In 2004, he faced allegations of sexual abuse, and he was subsequently brought to trial. The trial was a highly publicized and emotionally charged event, which had a significant impact on Murphy and those involved. 
During the trial, Murphy maintained his innocence and vigorously defended himself against the accusations. The proceedings were undoubtedly distressing for him, his family, and his community. Despite the legal ordeal, Murphy was eventually acquitted of all charges in 2004. The trial brought significant scrutiny and attention to his personal life, which undoubtedly had a profound effect on him. It is essential to recognize that tragedies like these have a lasting impact on individuals, their families, and their communities. Survivors of abuse often face significant emotional and psychological challenges, and Murphy's journey as a survivor has likely been a difficult one. Today, Calvin Murphy remains an influential figure in the basketball world. His insightful commentary and analysis as a color commentator for the Houston Rockets have endeared him to fans, while his charitable work continues to uplift the lives of children in need. Murphy's journey from a small-statured player to an NBA legend serves as a testament to the power of determination, talent, and the indomitable human spirit. If you want to stay updated on the latest basketball news, insightful analysis, and inspiring stories like Calvin Murphy's, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll gain access to exclusive content, interviews with basketball legends, and behind-the-scenes coverage of the game we all love.